Nice small mouth being released on Lake Mojave. And the rest of the video is going to be all three rigs that worked the best for me on this trip and several of those fish that were caught on those rigs. Hope you enjoy. Get stoked. Here I am using the best bait for me on the trip. It's called a Kitek Sexy Impact. And I set it up on what they call a Nico rig where you grab a little nail weight throw it in the nose of the bait and then put a little wacky ring tool to keep you from losing baits and you kind of wacky rig the bait with that nose that nose weight up in the head of it and for some reason the fall of that sucker those smallmouth really dug it caught some saw some big bass suck it down right in front of my face that's when you know you got a good setup Still seeing them? Oh yeah. Giant bass on a Nico rig. Oh! I saw the whole thing swam down and sucked it off the bottom. Just off a point. There's a school of them. We stayed on them till we caught one. Got that hook up on film. But that Nico rig, I saw him swim down and eat it. This big old bass swimming away. I was in the cover. I took that same Kitek Sexy Impact and put a nail weight in the middle of the bait and used a small one aught offset worm hook and would throw that in the cover to get bites. Son. Oh. Stay with him. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Famous wow. last words, right? Yeah. Last words. He is a fighter. Cut my bait, and all of a sudden I noticed my lines going up <laughs> under those trees. Whoo! That was a battle. Do the largies. Woo! Here I'm rigging up a drop shot rig because we see some bass on a bed. Drop shot is the best way to go. I use a little robo worm and watch what happens. Yeah. A little trick that I like to do is peel off a little bit of line and back your boat away and the bass don't feel as threatened and it gets them to bite. Oh, got him, got him, all right, yeah, my God. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, oh man. Oh, no, no, get away, he's hooked right out on the lip. Oh, oh, just tossed him there. Oh, sweet. Nice. 
This was another key bait for me, the Mega Bass Dock Crawler on a 3 aught zone lock hook. It's got a little kind of weird gap that kind of helps keep the bass pin a little better. And then I threw a little size 5 split shot on the front to get it down to that 10 to 15 foot depth range a little bit quicker and it caught some bass. Boom. Zone knot hook. Look at that fish. Didn't get the full hook up on that bass on the dock crawler, but anyway, you got the point. All three of those baits set up that way. Caught a lot of big bass. I just can't get enough of these bass swimming away in this clear water. So cool. Go fishing Lake Mojave. Hopefully this video and all the info in the blog post can help you get out there and get cracking bass.